The 20th century introduced tanks, combat vehicles with sturdy armor and powerful guns that quickly became the backbone to land combat operations. After World War I, they played a part in almost every major conflict, so it's only natural that with time people came up with special weapons to counter this armored threat, like anti-tank guided missiles that were introduced in the 1950s. Today we're going to talk about the best missile tank destroyers in War Thunder, from the German Wiesel to the Soviet Chrysanthema. The first vehicle on our list is the UDES-33, a Swedish missile carrier. It might look almost harmless at first glance, but make no mistake, this tiny vehicle is a very efficient killer. Thanks to its size, the ultra-compact carrier can easily hide on uneven terrain where it can make excellent use of its great launcher depression of minus 20 degrees, allowing the tank destroyer to deliver lethal blows to unsuspecting enemies. Then we get to the ADATS, an American short-range surface-to-air missile system based on the M3 Bradley. Wait a second, how the hell did an SPAAG get on our list for the best tank destroyers? Actually, it's pretty simple. The vehicle just comes with an excellent all-purpose missile, the MIM-146, which can pierce up to 900 millimeters of armor. Thanks to its unique arsenal of weapons, this carrier can deal with any type of target. It eliminates aircraft and tanks with missiles and takes out lightly armored vehicles with its cannon. Next up, we have a pair of Soviet vehicles, the Chrysanthema S and the Sturm S. The former is a deadly nocturnal predator thanks to its unique radar system, a high-definition thermal scope, and a powerful tandem missile. The latter comes with a really nice selection of ammo types, providing the carrier with options for almost any kind of encounter. At the same time, both vehicles have some distinct flaws. Their launchers won't break any records with their elevation and depression angles, and the carriers have limited options for getting out of combat when things go south. The vehicle that almost made it into the top three is the German Raketenjagdpanzer II, armed with the hot anti-tank missile system. It's the perfect pick for quick hit-and-run strikes behind enemy lines as this vehicle has a low profile and the same max speed of 70 kilometers an hour when moving forward and in reverse. Hot anti-tank missiles are semi-automatically guided, making those raids significantly less risky. But keep in mind that the launcher has limited traverse and takes quite a while to reload. The bronze goes to the CM-25, a Chinese missile tank destroyer. Basically, it's a modified M113 APC that was fitted with tow missiles, including the tow 2B variant that uses flyover, shoot down warheads that destroy their targets through their roof. With a missile like that, the target might have all the armor in the world and it still won't save them. It's worth noting, though, that this APC is not particularly mobile and doesn't have much armor itself. So be careful. The second place goes to the M901, an American ITV. If you're no stranger to ground battles, you're probably well familiar with the distinctive profile of its turret launcher that has great depression at minus 30 degrees, by the way. Thanks to that and the unique design of the vehicle, the M901 can use all sorts of terrain features to its advantage. This tank destroyer performs extremely well at long range and on uneven terrain, but can struggle a bit in urban environments. Finally, the champion of its class is the Wiesel 1A2 Tow, a German air transportable armored fighting vehicle. This tiny carrier is an almost perfect tank destroyer. It has deadly Tow 2A tandem missiles, as well as Tow 2B missiles with flyover shoot down warheads, both of which make short work of even the most modern MBTs. The best thing is that this carrier can be hidden behind virtually any cover from a big rock to a pile of debris. Missile tank destroyers are a true bane of MBTs, capable of stopping any enemy attack in its tracks. Are there any carriers that you particularly like? Old models? New models? Maybe you prefer designs made by a specific country? Feel free to tell us in the comments below.